Something happened for the first time in Major League Baseball history because it could have never happened in any year prior. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. We got Kyle Tucker stepping to the plate for the Astros. He's having a good year. He's good. Luis Severino on the mound, having himself a comeback year. Good. 3-2 pitch, fastball outside. Tucker, he gets to first base, becomes a base runner. Luis Severino's in a bit of a jam now. He's got the bases loaded. Two outs, Bregman up, first pitch was a strike, just looking for that last out, 88-mile-per-hour changeup. Bregman absolutely slams it off the Crawford boxes with a facing of the Crawford boxes. That's going to score two runs. They're going crazy in Houston. These two guys are lined up for a perfect high five. Guy in the middle doesn't realize he's not part of it, thinks he's part of it, gets boxed out, but then gets picked up by his buddy and says, I got you too. We're happy in Houston. Seve's still in a jam. Two in scoring position. Two outs. He's got Gurriel up, and he's having problems with the pitch comm now. He can't hear what the catcher's putting down. And if you haven't watched a lot of baseball this year, this is new technology. So the catcher is hitting buttons on his knee, and the pitcher has a little microphone in his hat. It looks like this. That's what's on the catcher's knee, and he has a guide. So there you go. So number one would be a four-seam fastball. Number two would be a curve, slider. And you can change these to whatever you want. You hit it once. So say I hit five once, that means I want a sinker. And then I hit nine next, that means I want a sinker low and outside. It's kind of how it works. You can customize the voice, so, but you or you can have a robot, or you can have your teammates. So it would be like, sinker, outside. Shit like that. Anyway, they're having problems with it. Sevy can't hear. He's going to step off the mound and be like, I can't, I can't hear what you're doing. Not fun. Guriel says, okay, do what you got to do, dude. So he takes the little piece out of his ear, and he's trying to listen. Can I hear it? Can I hear it? Tucker sees this. He takes off for home. Sevy says, you're out, dude. I wasn't that distracted. I rope doped you. I could hear it perfectly the whole time. Tucker feels like a fool. Sevy says, that was easy. Easiest jam escape I've ever had. Walks into the dugout. Backup catcher Higashioka gives him a big old thumbs up. Hey, great job, man. Look at that. I love the dismount of the little thing. So it's in his hands. Just tosses it aside. No care in the world. Grabs the ball out of the glove. I think a lot of players might get butterfingers there. And it was still a close play. You got to throw that. You got to fumble for the ball. Get a good grip on it. Make sure you throw it to your catcher. And then your catcher's got to block the plate. And look at Savvy looking like, well, the fuck would you do that, dude? You were in scoring position. You had another guy up. Trevino. It's uh, Severino to Trevino. That's the catching, the battery. He boxes out Tucker's left hand perfectly. Kind of steps on it. I don't think he means to do that, obviously. You see him, he has the ball. Once you have the ball, you can block the lane to the plate. That's the new rule. And that foot blocks that left hand from reaching, and then he lays the tag down before the right hand can reach. Bam. So it is a well-executed play. I think probably, I'd say six out of ten times, no, I'm going five out of ten times Tucker might be safe on this play. He was out here, but not according to this guy. Safe, he said. Not a good view. Worse view than the ump. Looking at his hand. He's like, oh, he stepped on my hand. Look at that. Look at his hand on the backside. A little cleat mark. A little damage. The Astros did go on to win this game. It was very close. Seve, though, had a good start. So this saved his numbers on the year. He's having a really good year. Tucker, also a good year. Astros, good year. Yankees, good year. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this video. Something happened that has never happened before in baseball. No one's ever stepped off the mound because they can't hear the robot voice in their head. And then the runner tries to take advantage of that, but he gets got. It's brand new.